What's up you guys, it's your boy Sega here trying to help all you single PC users stream Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. It's a very CPU intensive game, so a lot of people are having a hard time streaming it when they don't have a dual PC setup. So once again, this is only going to be for single PC users that are trying to stream to Twitch in particular. And once again, this is all opinion, um, but these are the settings that I have been running that I think are the best. I've ran a bunch of different tests, I did monitoring on my system, and once again, these seem to be the ones that work the best for my gaming experience as well as the viewers viewing experience. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first we have general, you can leave all this stuff alone. For stream, it's just your service, your server, your stream key. Um, this is just basic stuff you guys should know already. And if you don't, I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there that can help you with it. For the output, we are gonna stick with the NVIDIA NVENC encoder, because like I said, this is a CPU intensive game. So for a single PC setup, this is gonna be the best bet. Uh, for the Enforce streaming service, you're gonna leave that unmarked. For rescale output, you're gonna leave that unmarked. For rate control, we're gonna stick with CBR. It's just a Twitch standard. For the bit rate, uh, 4,500 is a sweet spot. Some people like 6,000, just where it really matters is the internet from you and from the viewer. The higher the bit rate, the harder it is to stream for people. Um, and anyways, Twitch only maxes out at 6,000. Sometimes you can go over it, but it's just really dependent on who's streaming to Twitch and how many people are streaming to Twitch at the time. So 4,500 is a sweet spot. Keyframe intervals, I leave that at auto. Some people put that at two. Preset, I leave that at max quality. If you are having a little bit of problems, you can go down to quality, but you should do. You should be able to do max quality pretty fine. Profile, I use high versus main. Some people like main. It just means it's high priority. Um, look ahead, leave that unmarked. Psycho visual tuning, you're gonna leave that marked. GPU zero, max B frames two. Moving on to audio, you don't really have to touch anything here either, unless you're an autophile and you really want to. Uh, video, uh, this is gonna be your monitor. Um, I have a 1080p monitor, so the base resolution is gonna be 1080p. Uh, the output resolution, this is what you're gonna be sending on over to Twitch. Um, I use 720p, right now I'm recording, so I'm using 1080p, but every time I stream Warzone, I always use 720p. It is just a go-to for FPSs, whether it's Warzone, Apex, or Fortnite. Um, it's just, it just runs the best. Um, like I said, for FPS, there's just a lot of motion going on. Um, people are watching on their phones and laptops anyways. So 720p is honestly my go-to. If you have access to higher bit rate because you're a partner, or if you have a dual PC setup, um, you can do 1080p or even 900p. A lot of people like 900p for FPS. It looks very good. It's like the halfway mark between 720p and 1080p, but we're single PC streaming here, so we're gonna stick with 720p for the output resolution. Uh, downscale filter, you can put that at Lansco. Some people use Bicubic. I like Lansco. Uh, common FPS value, this is where it gets a little tricky. So, because we, like we said, this is a very CPU intensive game, and it's just a very intensive game, even on your GPU, um, we're gonna stick with 48 FPS. Um, I know that might sound like, oh, 40 FPS, that's a horrible, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Trust me, this is what I stream at, at all the time when I play Warzone and it runs smooth. I haven't heard any complaints from any of my viewers. Um, 60 frames, if your PC can do it, go ahead, go for the 60. But if you have a little lower end specs on your PC, 48 is just fine. Honestly, I still run 48 and I have a really good uh, CPU and a really good GPU. Um, 48 frames per second, it runs just as smooth as 60. I can't tell the difference. I honestly, I can't. So 48 frames is gonna be your go-to right here on common FPS values. Um, but if you wanna try 60, go ahead, run a stream at both and you can go ahead in the comments and tell me if you see the difference or not. Um, hotkeys doesn't matter, advanced doesn't matter. Um, so like I said, those are gonna be all the settings that are what is the best from all my tests. Like I said, I ran monitoring systems while streaming and while off stream just to see where it affects my PC the most. And I've tried different setups with each different settings. I tried 1080p just for, you know, shits and giggles. Um, I tried everything and from everything that I've tried, this has been the best for my gaming experience as so like pushing the most frames while gaming as well as the viewer experience. 
Um, I didn't notice a great loss of frames at all in performance and none of my viewers really complained. Where it did get laggy for me is my internet. Like I said, um, I have about four people living here with me besides myself. So my internet is kind of wishy-washy. you know, sometimes we're all on it. And so, you know, it's just, it, it's really internet dependent where I fall short when I stream. But um, if you have great internet, you should be totally fine. Try these settings out. Let me know how they work for you. If you uh, stream with different settings, let me know what those settings are. Maybe we can compare notes and see, you know, where, where we're missing the mark here a little bit or you know how we can help other people out um if you want to see what these settings look like live in action you can catch me on twitch.tv slash sega s-e-h-g-a i stream every tuesday wednesday and friday these are the settings i use every time i use warzone so you can come see for yourself if it's worth it or not to try it out um yeah so that's it for this video i'll see you guys next time peace bam that's the one